We're asked to find the surface area and the volume for the cement block in the figure shown below. If we were asked to find the, you know, volume of, you know, just a rectangular solid or the surface area of a rectangular solid, you know, we have a formula for those and it's pretty straightforward. This one gets tricky because it's, it's not a solid form. You know, we've got holes in it. So when you want to find the, you know, the measurement, the volume or the surface area for this type of a composite figure, you're either going to use subtraction or addition to get, to get the volume of the surface area. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do the volume first. And um, it's a little more straightforward, and then I'll go ahead and I'll, I'll show you the surface area. Okay, so for the volume, um, remember that the volume of a rectangular solid is length times width times height. Now, if I take the volume of this entire rectangular solid, the whole brick, just without thinking about you know the pieces that are missing, you know, then I've got you know um, 13 by not um, sorry by six, and then you know, by nine. So 13 by six by nine. So the volume is going to go ahead and be 702 um, cubic inches. Now the problem is that I've got some holes in here. So I've got to take out those three rectangular solids. Okay, so one of them, I said same thing, length times width times height. Notice that it's, it's, three across here, seven here, and then the height is still going to be the same of six. So I'll have three times seven times six, which will be um, 126. Now I have three of these rectangles, so I'm going to have to go with three times 126, which will give me um, 378 cubic inches. So the volume of this brick yeah, so the brick with the pieces taken out is going to be equal to the outer volume minus the pieces that are missing, so 378. So the volume will be 324 cubic inches. And again, volume will always be cubic measurements. Okay, so now let's go ahead and switch down to the surface area. Okay. So with the surface area, um, we've got to find, you know, the area of, you know, the front, the sides, you know, there's the top and the bottom, but then there's also these pieces on the inside, all that in there. Think about if you wanted to paint it, you know, what would you have to cover all of those in there? All right, so let's go ahead and we will start with the, this, I'm going to call it the, you know, the, the front face. And so this front face, notice I've got, you know, this piece right here is what I'm looking at. Okay. So it measures 13 and then the height is six. So we get 13 oops, times six, which will be 78 square inches. So that's for the front. And then also on that back side, you know, I've got another one of those. Really have two of those. So two times 78 is going to give me 156 total. All right, hang on to that number. We're going to need it at the end. Okay, now I want to go ahead and look at the sides. We'll go ahead and find the area of the sides. So I'm looking at this piece right here. You know, the side right over here. So I've got 6 by 9. And then again, it's the same thing over here. So for the side, I'm going to have... 6 times 9, which will be 54. And again, there's two of those sides. So 2 times 54, 108. And again, I'm saving that number for, for the end. Okay. Now let's go ahead and look at the top of this brick, or this, you know, this block. When I'm looking at the top, um, I've got to, you know, I've got to count for this. You know this one here but then I've also got to go ahead and tally up here 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 and here so like I said one possibility is to find the area of the entire top and then subtract away the area for those three rectangles um, this one I'm going to go ahead I'm going to find all those little areas and add them together just so that you can see a different way of doing it um, compared to what we do with the volume 
So looking at this piece here, you know, it's one inch thick and it is 13 inches long. So for my top here, I'm going to have, you know, 13 times one, and then I've got two of those. So times two, so that'll be 26. And then for the middle pieces, each of these here, again, they're one inch thick and they are seven inches long. So I'm going to have seven times one. And again, I have one, two, three, four of these. So that'll be 28. So the total for the, 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 for the top piece here is going to be, you know, that 26 plus 28. So that'll be 54. And then I have to do that for both, you know, the top of the a block and also the, the bottom of the block is the same thing. So two times 54, 108. Hang on to that one. Okay, now the last thing we have to do is figure out about these walls on the inside. So if you notice on the walls on the inside, again, there's multiple ways of doing this. Um, I'm going to think of it as you know, one possibility, you can go ahead and, and, and again, do the one for each rectangle and then times three, but I'm going to go ahead and just do the walls of the rectangle. So like here, I've got this, this wall, this back wall here. See how this whole piece is going to go down there. I got that side, which is going to be the same here and the same here. And then, so I've got three of those and then also on the opposite sides of those. So I'm going to have six of those sides. So for each one of them, it's three inches across, and then it's going to be um, the, the, the height of it is six. So I'm going to have three times six. That's for one of these. And I have six of them. One, two, three, four, five, six. So six times 18 um, will give me 108. And now, if I work on the other walls on the inside, so now I'm looking at this wall here, and again, that little piece, and then that wall there, and that wall there. And again, I'm going to have, you know, those three, but then also on the opposite side. So on this wall, this wall, and this wall. So each one of those, it's going to be seven across, and then six high. So seven times six is 42. And then I've got six of those. So six times 42 will give me uh, 252. So adding up all of these is going to give you my surface area. So my overall surface area then is going to be 156 plus 108 plus 108, plus 108, plus 252. So adding all of those together, we get 732 square inches. Surface area, just like any other area, will always be square units. Let me know if you have any questions.